In the first video of this playlist, we showed how to temporarily add an object to this navigation bar using the app launcher. Uh, this time we actually want to rearrange the tabs and add some new ones. So let's go out to the setups and what we're going to then do is select the app manager and the app manager uh, gives us access here to the nonprofit success pack. Um, showing it's it's classic and managed and what we're going to do is we're going to edit uh, and this is very powerful you certainly don't want to delete that's why it's important that this uh, uh, you know this is clearly an administrator role um, so with edit that takes us to uh, this screen which is the um, kind of setup app manager for the nonprofit success pack and what we're able to see is that uh, we've got names and labels. Um, this is uh, the install pack. So if you have any questions what you're going doing, if you click on that, what it does is to bring you to uh, actually a detailed version of the screen, but this shows you the high level of kind of what it is that, that, that we have uh, installed within, uh, within our organization. Um, so going back to the app, uh, what we're interested in doing was, was working with the tabs. And so this feature allows us to choose from available tabs uh, and then for the selected tabs, uh, we can then order them. So what you're seeing here is home account contact leads. And if we go back to our home page, what we see is, is uh, home account contact leads. And so we know that uh, that's the, the current structure. So let's say we want to move leads down and so we're going to take it all the way to the end. Uh, we also want to go to dashboards. and Let's say we're going to add those. And for that one, we want to take it up next to reports. You can have up to 25 selected tabs, I think is the number as of today anyway. Um, and basically just the first, uh, I guess it depends again on, on kind of how, your, uh, uh, how big your screen is in terms of how many tabs you're going to see. Uh, but let's go on ahead and click uh, save for that. Um, and then by going out to the, uh, the home page again, what we can do is a refresh of that. And what we'll see is that we've, uh, we've moved out leads and we now have dashboards showing as well. So we're in, we're in good shape with that. Uh, one more thing though, if we go back out to the app manager and uh, just to show you what the, the new version looks like, and that may be what you're seeing now, is, uh, is if we go out to sales, that one's marked lightning, where, remember, um, the NPSP was marked classic. And if we go in here and say, let's edit that, uh, then what we see is this screen, which is, uh, you know, again, very, very different from the classic version, but looking much more like lightning. And we can go over to here to the select items and what that provides us with is a, a, a similar um, selection screen which allows us to again um, we can we can take whatever items we care to and this is going to uh, this includes everything and this is an alphabetical order uh, but we could bring any objects from, from any of the applications in to our selections for this, and then again, be able to reorder them. I'll save that and make it work. So that's a quick overview. And then what we want to do is, uh, Trailhead does a great job of showing the Lightning apps and how to create your own version, but it's an interesting option to be able to create a very customized version. So that'll be the next shot of this. Thanks.